Hey guys, it is Kimberly from WickLessKimberly.com, your independent Cincy consultant, and it is time for the warmer and scent of the month review. So we will start with the scent first. Scent is called Pink Tulips, and the bar looks like this. It's a very pretty pink, and the pattern just looks like you're looking down on some flowers. Pink wax. I'm going to do the description before I give you my thoughts. So we have, as one of spring's earliest blooms, tulips jumpstart jump start the journey to a new season. Treasure this groundbreaking blossom in a fragrant homage accented by crisp apple, juicy raspberries, and a hint of night-blooming jasmine. Are we jumping? Jumping like crazy. So this scent, um, this is the perfect spring scent. It is the perfect combination of floral and fruit. If you are familiar with Bora Bora Blossom, it is very close to Bora Bora Blossom, but it has more of that raspberry scent to it. Uh, but if you like fruity and floral, this is for you. It's, it's more sweet than it is floral, but it smells really good. Really good. It's definitely up there on my list. Okay, so next, the warmer of the month is slowly coming in. It's a snail. It's a snail. How crazy is that? It's called garden snail. How cute is this baby, huh? She's just looking at it. It's a garden snail. Okay, so this is an element warmer, so there's no light. The only light that's gonna be put out is from this little light back here, and it's not bright at all. You have your embossed Cincy. And so they, this doesn't match anything in my house, but I want to put it somewhere because I just think it's super cute. So we'll break it down. So start at the bottom. So here's your, your heating element, your hot plate. And then you can see like he, he has kind of like a, a rock slash cement feel. And you can see he's stamped with circles. And it looks like they took um, like a paintbrush and I don't know what that's called, but like he's speckled. I just think he's super cute. Super cute. Okay, so this dish is probably one of the tiniest dishes I've ever seen. So this will hold, for the best scent throw, this is only going to hold maybe one or two cubes. For the best scent throw, I'm sure it could hold four, but um, the warmest spot on the is the bottom. The warmest spot is the bottom, and that's going to be where the scent is released from, so you're not going to get too many cubes in here, so just keep that in mind. Um, just fits right on here. Super tiny. It's so tiny. Um, and then you have your shell, and um, you can see that the snow, if I, like, point him forward, you can see he's looking off to the right. Whichever way the snail is looking, that's where this, the swirl is gonna go. The opposite side doesn't have that. And so this fits right on top like that. And so his shell is, I hope you can tell, it's kind of, it's crackled, but it's also hand painted. I hope you can tell. It's really pretty. Let me back here. It is like a, it's just a very pretty warmer. And then you have the vent holes up on top. So that way, this is where the scent is going to come through. What? You like this warmer? It's pretty. It's pretty. So if you have anyone who loves gardening or um, snails, uh, this would be amazing for them. It is super, super cute. I just think of, I can't think of that show. It's a, I don't know if it's a Disney movie or not, but it has a, the slug and the, the snail in it. And it makes me think of that every time. But he is just too cute. And you have the lines on his belly. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, put it down below. I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. If you know anyone who loves snails or gardening, share it with them. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you back here next time. Bye, guys.